for a good matchup. Ho Ying Chao also was the final, mostly. And now he has to face off against the top seed. Caused a couple of issues already with his defense. I think we'll definitely see backhand side of Ho Ying Chao. Also, you have to think. National players are a little bit different for him. He's a great example. Uh, the US Open a couple of years ago. Ho Ying Chao just ran right through him. There's a really difficult variance on the backhand side of his chop. Yeah, it's a little more. I mean, Tiago plays quite compact strokes. Ho Ying Chao definitely tries to use his height as an advantage. Some rhythm on that short pip side, but it's in short pips variance. You've got to keep looking for that consistent side. Not afraid to play further back from the table. Right. Comes for a very, very large range of angles. Um, difficult to find that pocket of weakness. And Apollonia back from the table. Keeping Just the pressure hit. on the backhand. Kind of trying to edge his way back in a little. I think Tiago seems like he's waiting for the forehand. Yeah, Being patient. Uh, and he misses PM players who are much more prone to play control spin. You know, like Primarach and Timo, a lot of attacking power. Uh, he's very careful to evaluate the time that he has. When, um, when you're playing against someone who I mean, there's so much variance in Ho Ying Chao's game, and it can be very unsettling. And there he goes for that middle pocket. Very steady play. Just looking for placements and variances of his own. I think that's, that's something that Tiago and Looks like he's down to the left spin serve. I don't want to come straight back at me. Great control there. Certainly if he doesn't let it build too much momentum, it's not as threatening as perhaps he might think. Right. Seems like he's, he's adjusting to that attack. against the serve of Ho Ying Chao. Oh. oh, and it came back. Apart from try and win off the serve and level things up again. <laughs> right off the bounce. And Ho Ying Chao wow. comes back with a forehand to get. Beauty. Oh. And that is from the short pips. You got to make sure that the drop is real tight. Energy up fast to the backhand and then slow and short to the forehand. It gives Ho kind of a, a guessing game where he doesn't really know it's that a lot of choppers have. Zero against a defender like Ho Yun Chao. Point lead. Chao pushing a little bit. Eight nine. I mean, if, if he knows exactly how Ho Yun Chao is going to respond. 
and he feels that he can set up a game plan around that. So game point for Apollonia. In the open singles quarterfinals. Great angle there from Apollonia. Great inside out. Especially when he's right. attacking. Even if he's playing the slow. Playing against a chopper with heavy underspin, you have to make sure that every single shot you make is 100%. Yeah, well, I mean, even if it's no spin variation as well. See, I feel like that. A lot of quality and depth on the ball. Uh, sometimes it's thrown Apollonia back a little bit. Seeing that the defender's automatically going to chop the ball back. Yeah, I, I mean one of Ho Ying Chao's biggest strengths and there's so much, so much variation on the defense. And then not just the attacking forehand, but there's the backhand attack as well if he gets in closer to the table. So, I mean, it would have given him a lot of exposure to different European styles, not just the experience he had. And a recovery China. up from off the table, or uh, off the edge of the table. And Apollonia, who's back from the table now. And really, how high are you going to, how much height are you going to give that ball? Steady hands there from Apollonia. And, and there we go, great rally. The first forehand that Ho Ying Chao started off with, I thought that would be the killer, but Tiago got it back. Gets the net back. And Ho <laughs> Ying Chao. Oh, and Ho Ying Chao. And again, I mean, it only takes a couple of those shots for Ho Ying Chao to feel like we hadn't really seen that be an option on the table for Ho Ying Chao. Ho Ying Chao is the closest to the camera and you can definitely see that his, his, his legs and it, he just looks really tall. Good pick up by Ho Ying Chao. A little help by it. A little interesting that they're finding themselves against each other in the quarterfinals. Circuit, um, you know, just because you're not seeing a player out there competing a few times, but he's he's playing in Beijing a lot and playing in China, and um, wins five match points. And Ho Ying Chao will take the first one. Really, really class match between both players and Ho Ying Chao. A 4-1 win against Thiago Apollonia, possibly the favorite for the tournament, the, the top seed. But, uh